So I'm just going to take you through a couple examples of how you can use the trending facilities. We have trending facilities for both capacity and performance. Let's take a look at what we can do in the capacity. And what I'm going to show you here is how the free space for a set of controllers by tier actually changes over time. And so we're going to start out by looking at free tier over time. Uh, and we're, we're looking at some different tiers here. We got 450 gig drives, 900 gigs, 300 gigs, and then some mixed tiers. And I actually want to drill down to a particular, um, tier. So I'm going to, I'm going to click on it. I'm going to use the isolate button and then I'm going to drill down. I'm going to see the trend just for this tier in a line chart. It's a little bit easier to see when we show a trend line. So I'm going to add that trend line. You can see that the trend is actually decreasing. It starts off at about 79% full and, uh, by the end it's at 76%. So this is actually a case where the provisioning, um, the, the actual percentage of the pool that's in use has decreased over time. So that, that's actually a good trend, I guess. Um, there's other kinds of trends though that are important to be able to see and those are the performance trends. So I want to hop over here to the trending yearly and look at uh, the throughput over time to see where we're, how we're doing in relationship to um, throughput. So I'm going to isolate again on the, the biggest area and the biggest piece of the pie here, which is SVC 001. And that's going to show me the trend over time. Now it's easier to see the trend with the trend line. So we're going to add that to the chart and you can see there's really not much change here, maybe a slight decrease. Um, how about the response time for the same controller? I'd like to know what it is. So I'm just going to go over here and look at the response time, isolate on that response time. And I can see how my, tr my, uh, response time changed over time. Really, um, it didn't change much either. That's makes sense since we didn't see a, a decrease, an increase in the workload. My conclusion is that I can really use any of the, the metrics here to, to trend over very long terms, years even, for capacity and performance, even uh, at an application level if I want from a performance perspective, to see how uh, workloads are changing over time, see if there's any concerning trends. All of this data I can ex export to Excel for further um, analysis and predictive uh, forecasting. And, you know, using those things, you can avoid negative trends.